Thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40th World, where we do entertainment news, okay? I guess you're wondering what the buzz meter is so piping hot for. Why is it showing, wow, like explosive, breaking news type of hot topics we got going on over here at Deb Chanel's 40th World? Yes, the hot topics. We into hot topics, what's trending out there today that's on social media. All social media platforms I'm talking about. I'm discussing information I may pull off of Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all over the globe where they got social media feeds. I'm even talking about picking up the newspaper if that's still a thing in certain people's states. We have Atlanta Journal Constitution up here in Atlanta, GA. But I am not a subscriber of their news rag, only because social media gets it first. <laughs> and I even think they have a .com, a media section site. So just getting a newspaper like back in the day where you order it, get on a subscription list, and they just hand or, or throw you out your newspaper feed so you can get all the entertainment news, gossip, breaking news, as well as news just every day, philanthropy, okay? But we're going to be talking about today, none other than a hip-hop Atlanta reality star, Tommy Lee. Yes! Tommy Lee, Tommy, Tommy Lee has been freed from the jailhouse, the prison system. She's back in population, the public population. Yes, a reality star. Uh, Tommy Lee has been on... Real, well, not Real Housewives, but Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Here they all both came out at the same time. It's still reality, drama, feel, mindless entertainment that are capturing our eyes and our ears here and there. Depending on how much you like to be on the television screen and, you know, looking at it that way. Other times you can stream it. Look at it in a past tense. You know what I'm saying? We got those capabilities now. Technology is taking over and it's something else. But getting into what Atlanta Black Star Magazine wrote out on their uh, article platform, social media platform, and it was written by Tia Berger. She did this thing on July 6th, okay, one day behind. I don't know if it's Eastern Standard Time or was it Mountain Pacific or what do you call it? I think it's what Eastern Mountain Pacific. Don't know the other one, but I think it is another one. But anybody, anyway, if you really want to know, put it in a comment and comment section and update me. All right. Well, other than that, we're gonna get on into this commentary. It was written, like I said, by Tia Berger yesterday, and she's one of Atlanta Black Stars columnists or journalists. Okay. Her feature reads: She's back. Okay, Tommy Lee is officially home as fans urge her to stay on the right path. That's right, stay on the right, the straight and narrow path. How it speaks in the Bible. You get in trouble when you you hang with the masses. Everybody, you know, start elim uh, we call it, imitating what they're doing out there. You get just all in the midst. Instead of being an individual, free thinker. Be on your own sometime. It's good to walk that path along with the Lord behind you. You know what I'm saying? In front of you, on the sides, above you, beneath you. You know, he just got you covered. Who, oh my God, you walking with? Okay. And that's maybe what Tom Lee need to do sometimes. Stop hanging with the masses and just be an individualist. You know what I'm saying? But getting back to this article and what they put out on this young lady. They says, <coughs> excuse me, loving hip hop Atlanta star. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to get some water. Let me repeat myself, okay? Love and Hip Hop Atlanta star Tommy Lee was recently reuni <coughs> reunited with her loved ones after spending quite a bit of time behind the bar. Yes, Lord. The clink, clink. The don't pass go because we got you for a couple of years or months or however the sentence was laid out to you. I mean, throw away the key. You won't see freedom to X, Y, Z time and behave behind these bars because we might have to put an extended leash onto that. Okay, or a extended amount of time added to what you already got to serve. Okay, that was my commentary put to the side, not in this article. We're going to pick it back up where we say it's behind bars. Whoop, 
when people say that, I'm like, my freedom gone. I can't breathe. I start hyperventilating. No, I can't do no crime. I can't do no time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't do it. So if you think I'm a ride or die chick, I have limits. I have limits. If it's any foolishness going to cut up, that's going to be putting me behind bars or, or trying to bail me out, then put my house up to get me out of jail. Uh-uh, I can't do it. I can't. You can call me wimp, coward, punk, whatever. I can be all of those things, but I love my freedom, okay? Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we free at last. My little king, get into it. Get into the legacy. All right, but going back, we have the article saying the 35-year-old mother recently beat her child ab abuse case after facing as much as 54 years behind bar. Lord, 54 years. What? Ooh, this child will be in her. Oh, hey, she'll be like Bill Cosby up in there. Up in there trying to revamp uh, himself and be a leader up there in the prison system. Because he couldn't act right out here. You know what I'm saying? Woo, I'm glad she beat that charge. 54 years at her age. 35. 55. Nah, that's too much. That's too long. That's too long. She probably would have got out with good behavior, but she'd been so old. Reality TV wouldn't have wanted her. She could have probably do a biop or a bi uh, what do you call it? Autobiography on herself. Write a book. Get some tree chain. But, you know, Social Security don't took over then. She'd be getting her SSS check. But just getting back to the commentary, because sometimes I go off on my own little spiel. And if you're rocking with me, you know how I get down. Okay, we're going back. It says the 35-year-old mother recently beat her child abuse charge case after facing as much as 54 years behind bars and appears to be happier than ever that she's finally home. She took to her Instagram on July 4th and posted a video of the car ride to her Atlanta home. Was it Uber girl? Did you take an Uber or did your family members come and just rent you a car limo? Okay, wasted money, but hey, celebrate good times. I'm free. Yes, celebrate. There's a party going on right here. Well, they released me, and I got nothing but cheer. So throw your good times and the laughter, too. Because I'm going to shake my booty because I'm free. Didn't do. Ho, ho, ho. That was just me. I just put it out. I spat it out. I was in my soul. So I had to sing it to you and give it to you. Okay? All right. Moving back on to this article. It said <coughs> she. Okay. Posted a video of the car ride to her Atlanta home where she was greeted by her family and friends. She, of course, arrived in complete Tommy fashion, dressed in a two-piece crop top and a skirt set with her makeup slay. Okay, okay. She had to wash it off and be butt naked clean up in the car. Clank, clank, clank jailhouse but when they said release date, you can go, you can pass, go, no infractions, no infractions. Go ahead, girl, do your thing. She must have had somebody bring down some um, some clothing and attire so she can get glammed up or whatnot. I don't know. Maybe she did it all by herself. Okay. Just told somebody to bring her some clothes because she didn't want to uh, come back in the clothes they arrested her in. Okay. I get it. Moving on. Uh, it says, seemingly grateful to be out of custody. She wrote uh, via Instagram, beyond thankful for all of y'all support. Thank you, Tommy. Home. I know that's right. She should have just put repeating out the hashtag Tommy home hashtag Tommy free hashtag won't go to jail again hashtag I can't take it <laughs> you know what I'm saying that would have been my all my hashtags I probably just had attached to it I got to a thousand hashtags okay because I was I had so much time by myself <laughs> I just want to sit and interact for you um we call hours and hours and hours of social media if I'm not spending hours and hours and hours Talking to them, my family members, of oh, what I went through, what I learned, and where I'm going from here. All right. But well, moving back uh, to the article, it says she also called out people passing judgment on her situation, urging them to be careful. That's right. Now, if you live in that glass house, don't throw no stones. Don't throw it. Don't throw it because it's going to break. It's going to shatter, and it ain't going to be in your favor. Okay, not in this article, but that was my sidebar. Moving back to the article, it says, to all the people praying on my downfall, be careful with that energy, with that energy, and remember, you're not exempt from going where I just live. Hey, 
Hey, she was preaching, Lord. Did she find redemption? Did she find religion? But she was back there. I don't know. But hallelujah, praise the Lord. She was right on that sentence. Karma is a mug. It will bite you in the butt when you least suspect it. Or if it don't affect you, it'll affect, it'll affect your loved ones, your children. And it's somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. Be careful. Do people right. Treat people how you want to be treated. And the love will be, whoo, a peaceful place. Okay? But move back to the story. Let's that was written on the article that Tia brought out. I think her name is Tia. What did I say her name was, well, y'all? Yeah, it was Tia Burger. Okay, doing an actual job so far. Keeping me entertained as well. Where I can put in my side kicks. Okay, so I'm there for Tia. Do your thing. Okay. That her article it wrote last October. The television personality was arrested. Mm, and charged with child cruelty for physically assaulting her younger daughter at a middle school in suburban <laughs> suburban Atlanta. She was arrested and then released the day after the alleged incident, but was thrown back in jail within 24 hours on charges of violating an order to refrain from all contact with children. My Lord, my Lord. You mean child can't, she can't discipline her child. We gotta have a state discipline our children. Something wrong, y'all. We need to get out there and make some new le legislation, okay? Because in the Bible, it said don't spread a rod on the children. Don't spread a rod because then they're going to grow up like heathens, okay? They're going to be probably taking you out later on. Ain't coming in a good way. All right. Nursing home or graveyard. Nursing home or graveyard, okay? But you got you raising unruly children that don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay. Moving on from there. That was my sidebar. Um, Lee spent two months behind bars for the incident and then was hauled back to jail due to violating her bond by showing up to court intoxicated. Okay, she asked to enter a mental health program in March, but was denied due to her long history of criminal activity. Now, see, I got to do a sorry about this. If somebody coming to you and they saying, hey, 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 I need some help. Okay, I got anger issues and I got drinking issues. What can you do for me? I need to go away in a sobriety house or so, you know, a house where I can get myself together. And then you can post any type of infractions on me as far as a sentence. But let, give me some help. Of course, uh uh, no. <laughs> we got files on you, baby. And they thick. Thick. We had to get two fire cabinets on your behind. And I'm talking about the ones that got. Seven doors to it, okay? Seven little apartments and all of yours. Two of those are full. No, we, mm -mm. no, you going to jail. Okay, that's what the law told them. That's what the law told them. And they did better. They showed them, okay? Woo, I'm mercy. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so they denied that mental health program. They said, no, nah, you know exactly what you're doing. We ain't going to hold sentence. We're going to make you serve it right now. Lock her up. Give her the jumpsuit. Put the flip flaps on. Slide in a cell, okay? Let her think about it. We'll have her some time to think about her actions and what she can improve. Do better, you know better. Know better, do better. That's what the drug problem is telling her. Okay, they ain't saying you have time for her foolishness no more. Because she go in and out of jail, in and out of jail, people. But getting back to the commentary, it said instead of serving time in prison, she was instead given 10 years of probation after pleading guilty to five of those charges out of the seven she originally was hit with. Okay? Five out of seven. Ooh. Five out of seven. Okay. She was also ordered to attend a residential recovery program. After her program is completed, she must spend nearly a year in aftercare. Okay. With licensed professionals. Okay. Don't go to your mama. Don't go to your cousin. Don't go to a good friend. <laughs> and definitely don't go to the socket hotline trying to plead your case and trying to get instructions on how to make you and you be a better person. <laughs> they say, nah, nah, we need you to go to somebody licensed, somebody in the state of Georgia, preferably, and they update with their license and they're very well known for doing a good job with their patients. Okay, we need somebody credible and reputable, okay? No, nah, nah, you need to go to a place of business where they practice this type of uh, treatment that I'm ordering that you have, okay? <laughs> so then we have Lee, and she goes on in the article, says Lee must stay out of trouble during her probation sentence or she immediately will be hauled off to prison, according to news report, according to the news report, all right? Fans of the reality star are rooting for her to stay on that right path and keep out of harm's way. That's right. Put out of harm's oh my God, and stay out of trouble. Sit yourself down. Go to work. Come back. Sit yourself down. Go to work. Go to church. Come back and sit yourself down. That's how the cycle of circle I want you to be in. Go to work. Come home. Sit yourself down. Go to church. 
when it's not church time on the Bible study Wednesday days or that Sunday morning service, I, stay in the house. Go to work. Stay in the house. That's what we need. No alcohol. Put plenty of ginger ale up in there. Sprite. If you want a little colored soda, put some orange up there. Some pan of orange. Okay. We need to help this lady. Stay on the right path. Because she got children. Children need their parents. And they definitely need their mom. Okay. Moving on from my commentary. Going back to this article. Okay. Um, she's back. Uh, I miss your presence and vibe and last and real. Please don't go back. That's what her fans are saying. Her followers. Don't go back, girl. Down that reality, mindless drama uh, situation of a show. And, and, and get your coin, dollars, whatever you get, and, and live your life. Okay, get something that's reasonable, something you can afford. <laughs> get yourself around some good people, some counseling, spiritual counseling. And, and let's do this thing. Let's rock this world. Okay, let's rock this life that you had on me. Because Lord, no, they don't give you too many chances. Don't want to see you up there. How they say three strikes you out? Uh uh. You just got to serve time. You better off in here with us. Because I ain't sell time. Out, you know what I'm saying, and going into a drill like a military situation where they tell you to eat, uh, when to sleep, when to go to the bathroom, when you can have free time, when you can just change your whole outlook on life. They give you all that in increments of time. Every everything is recorded when you got um, a jail sentence. Trust and believe that you don't become a, a name anymore. You become a number. All right. <coughs> Then it says some more uh, of her followers or her subscribers go and says, yes, I'm so happy you're back. Love you, time and rooting for you, time and welcome home, sis. Please don't get into any more trouble. Really uh, rooting for you, sis. Ah, a lot of good accolades there. A lot of good positive vibes thrown out at your Tony. I mean, Tommy. And I'm giving it to you myself. May God bless you and yours. And honey, get on the straight. You don't need to be in jail no more. It's, it's really not a good look. And as you're getting older, you really don't want to be up there. People start having health problems, uh, arthritic problems, memory problems, all this stuff. And these kids, they're just going to pass you by because you ain't get the time or the uh, energy to stay focused on doing what's good for yourself and for them. Okay? That's it. Time of the Lord, yourself, and your kids. That's all that you should be concerned yourself about. All right? Prayers and blessings go out to Miss Tommy Lee. Welcome back to the general population society where you can go in that door, close it. You ain't got to lock it. Because I know it's just something about that client lock. It might uh, irritate you and affect you mentally. You know, it might, you might have post-trauma. What do you call it? Post-stress trauma. Okay? Of the whole situation of being locked down like that. Post-traumatic stress syndrome. That's PSTD. That's what I'm talking about. PSTD. Okay? <sighs> <laughs> oh, that's P D P P T S D. Yeah, PTSD. That's why I'm hollering. I got the little uh the abbreviations kind of messed up. But post traumatic PTSD syndrome. Stay out of it, Tommy. Stay out of it. Stay fresh. Stay connected with the ones that you need to co connect with, <laughs> and, and, and stay positive and do the right thing. And if reality shows are really making you go south and making you just behave in this manner where you have to get locked up every uh, here and there, whatever kind of time, you might need to cut reality job, this job out and get a nine to five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go home from work because, you know, y'all be too free and willy nilly over there in them reality shows and y'all be getting set up because they want drama. And I don't know if this type of drama is, is you know, good for you. God, Tommy, because like I said, ever since you started the show, you've been in jail, child, here and there for whatever reason, drunk driving, what they say, uh, allegedly abusing your kids. Just all this stuff come out on you. And you know, some of the stuff may be fabricated, you know, maybe put on you because, you know, everybody real quick to believe a lie instead of doing their investigation research and finding out the real truth. You know what I'm saying? A, a lie will become the truth if you tell it long enough and you, you dress it up good enough. Okay. Trust me, I know. But good, good, good deed. Thumbs up, Tommy. Glad you're out. Stay safe. Stay focused. And you'll be blessed. Okay, that was my time and effort on that particular story. I will be back today, more than likely with another one. That probably will be my last one for this weekend. But y'all be blessed. Thank you for uh, coming to my channel giving me your time, whether it's five minutes or whether it's 30 minutes, okay? I try to make it entertaining. And I try to give you visuals to go with what I'm saying, okay? So I appreciate y'all as uh, subscribers to my channel. Uh, help me grow 
and help me um get these stories out by liking sharing and subscribing to my channel and tell all the people about me okay tell them come on over i got time for everybody every creed and color honey i can get down because i ain't biased and i'm not definitely a racist so okay i love everybody as long as they got red blood beaming out of them i got them start getting that green all this other kind of blood we got a problem okay stay away from me and i will do the same for you <coughs> But again, I'll talk to y'all next time for my next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.